what is going on guys my name is Zaro and in today's video I'll be teaching you guys how to hit that rank you've always dreamed of I'm talking about plat 3 plat 2 plat 1 and yes even diamond I'm telling you you can literally hit diamond in 10 games that's all you need to do is play 10 games and you can hit that rank you've always wanted to hit make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you guys want to learn how to do this. Alright guys, now that you guys have liked, comment, and subscribed to the channel, I'm going to head over to R6 Tracker to show you guys some accounts that I've done and I've gotten really high ranks off them playing their placements and playing these 10 games. So first we go to my main, which is, oop, I am spelling that completely wrong. I am Zaro. As we load it up, you guys will see my rank. I, yeah, see, sorry for my ranks. I used to be really bad at this game, but as you can see, I've gotten better. But as you can see, I went from gold two to gold three to plat two to plat two to plat one to diamond this season. As you guys can see, I am currently ranked 1,500. I was ranked 30 in the world because I hit this so fast, but I have not played ranked on my main since. Later in the season, I will try to push champ. Sorry for the ad right there. It's just, you know, R6 tracker. But, as you guys can see, I am Diamond with a 1.96 KD in Ranked for the season. And we can go right here to Season, so you guys know I am telling complete truth how many games it took. As you guys can see right here, I have 13 games played. This is more because I wanted to hit Diamond, but because I was only... I was Plat 1 last season, but I finished off in Plat 2, so my starting MMR was lower. This is the biggest thing is starting MMR. You need to take advantage of your placements. Placements give you the most MMR all season. Each game will give you between 90 and 100. It depends who you're going against. Sometimes you can get over 100, which is absolutely insane. So you need to take advantage of the early season and not mess around if you want to hit a higher rank. Because as you guys can see right here, I have 100 win percentage and I have 13 games played and I'm diamond. I won 10 games and I was plat 1. So all I needed to do was win 3 more and I hit diamond. I ended up keeping a 2KD basically. 47 kills, 24 deaths. And I'll show you guys another count to make sure you guys know I'm telling the truth. For this, look, here's another account. Silver 2 to gold 3 to plat 3 to unranked to plat 1 to diamond. I'm literally telling you guys this like playing your placements and winning all 10 of them is the most important thing if you guys want to hit that high rank. Like every single person that I know that's been diamond wins their placements because it is just so much easier to get diamond and champion when you win your placements. As you see with the same thing, rank the diamond with a 6kd this season, same thing, 13 wins, that's all he had to play to get this and this is my friend shysty i played with him to get them these wins we played together that's why we're, we're both diamond with 13 wins it's absolutely insane and i'll show you one more account that i'm working on to show that you can get other ranks too as you guys can see here's another account that we did uh in one all 10 of its places as you can see it is flat one with 4066 mmr it's the same thing as like the other two accounts i showed you all 10 games. This one only has 10 games won. If it does get another 3 or 4 wins, it will be diamond. It has a 3.81 KD in rank, which is absolutely insane. And here is the season. 10 wins. Exactly all 10 of his placements. 80 kills, 21 deaths, 3.81 KD, which is really <laughs> pretty nice. And he is plat 1. All you have to do is hit 3 or 4 more games, and he will be diamond. So this is a crazy crazy thing to do so make sure you guys are taking advantage of this so basically now that you guys know that i'm being 100 percent with this now you guys have a couple options it just depends how you feel as a rainbow player and like just what you want to do so option number one this is the easiest option and this will get you the highest rank which is boosting i know i know not a lot of people like boosting and they frown upon it but if you guys want to hit that highest rank just for that, maybe that one time you really want that diamond charm or you really want that plat charm, you know, to show off to your friends. But the best way is to play those 10 unranked games, your first 10 games of the season with low rank accounts. The lower, the better, 
you know, the better chance you'll win. But the thing is, if you make a group post to look for coppers, remember, they are coppers. So most of the time, they will play like a copper. So if you guys want to do the boosting strat, I recommend getting a five stack, so like four other people that are pretty good at rainbow. And you guys need to make smurfs and derank them all the way down to like copper, bronze, whatever lobbies you feel comfortable with. The second option for you guys to do is just look for group post. And you don't have to necessarily go play with coppers and bronzes, but play, don't play with plats like for your 10 placements. If you really like think you will hit that, I mean, you can win those games, then beyond me, you're like, you can do that. But if you really want to hit those 10 games and 100% win all 10 to get the most out of it, play with the lowest ranks you can. Another option is just getting a five stack. Like, I have a group of friends, like there's five of us, but two of us are not that good and the other one just messes around too much. So it's just me and Shicey mainly that are always carrying. So what we did, we found a new stack. Like I have uh, two new people to replace our really, really bad friends. I mean, I didn't throw our friends away, but when we, were pl we played our 10 placements, we had new people with us and they carried their weight because they're also previous diamonds or previous high plats. So those are like the kind of two options you have is to find a five man or boosting. It's up to you, either one. I don't really care if people boost or not. I mean, you'll just see how they play, you know. But also, if you guys are going to boost, and if you don't care, people can easily tell you're boosting, then you want to not make your KD as obvious. Because, like, people with, like, 6.0s, as you can see, one of the accounts I showed you had, like, a 6.0. It's pretty obvious they boosted. One of them had, like, a 1.96. That looks pretty legit. And then one had like a 3.8, that could be pretty iffy, especially like, you know, 3.8 in high plat lobby. So you must be pretty, either pretty good or you boosted. So like, if you guys don't care, then by, beyond me, go for like 100 KD. But most of the time you will get trash talked if you do not back up that rank. 